welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? Top of Tala. That's where we are. And we're heading back towards downtown Paphos. We're going to take you down through the Anabargus part of Paphos. We're eventually going to look up to the Limassol roundabout. And then we're going to shoot up the Limassol bypass. Why? Time to get excited. Radio So So Sweet Caroline. We're off to the workshop. And you never know, we might get to say hello to some of the guys. So sit back, relax. Poor Nigel Big Guns a glass of the, well, the tonic. Not JJ Tonic, no, no, no. She's my special little tonic. And uh, she's sitting there on a chilly day in downtown Shropshire. Whether Mr. Andy's with her or whether he's out wiggling his rear end in his blue BMW, who knows? But I can promise you, if he is hot on his tail in the black beast, is Mr. Andrew and Miss Nessie. Because, of course, they are making some videos for their YouTube channel, Ness and Andy's Travel. So, going to have a look at that. They're wiggling and waggling in the Shropshire lanes. And, of course, down again, they're venturing even over the border in downtown Wales. Be careful when you're driving around there, Mr. Andrew. I mean, I don't think Nessie's got any problems because her Welsh is perfect. But use like a bit of an English boy even though you've got Welsh parents. So if I was you, I'd be very, very careful indeed. Otherwise, they might be dragging you down to Norwich, where, well, Andrew and Mart, they've got a YouTube channel as well, and they're racing around the lanes in Norwich and uh, downtown in the centre. And if you're a naughty boy, Mr Andrew, Mr Mart will grab you, drag you down there, and apparently they burn you in downtown Norwich. Nasty people in Norwich. Anyway, not our Andrea and not our Mart. They're coming out of Paphos next week and uh, probably they're going to appear on camera with us and probably we'll appear on camera with them. So there you go. That's how it works. That's how the YouTube family works. There we are. Right, let's have a shout out to some of the people that have come to join us in the Breakfast Club. We've got Nessie and we've got Miss Vivian and they're raring to go. The teas, the coffees, the alcoholic drinks in the Marika and Me bar are ready to be served. And of course there's a bit of hot soup because it's a bit of a damp morning today. There's cupcakes, there's cheesecake and there's walnut cake. Mr. Allen, flick on the machine, get yourself up to two or three mile an hour, forgive the potholes oh so sweet. I'd get your jumper onto that memory foam pillow if I was you. I think the roads are getting, well, they're absolutely Sherlock Holmes, that's for sure. And they're getting worse because, of course, these thunderstorms do cause havoc with the quite small potholes. And then we end up, as Dizzy Blonde understands, with potholes that are quite simply big enough to eat a Range Rover or two. Anyway, big shout out to some of the superstars that are joining us on the breakfast club sofas today. All the way from sunny Wales, my partner in crying, Gwyneth Walker. A big, big hello to you. Thanks for the coffee, Gwyneth. Really, really is very, very much appreciated. Maura and Kevin Taylor, thanks very much. We're gonna drink that one a little bit later, that's for sure. Who else have we got? I can't read my own writing, by the way. There we are. Lynn and Angie Walker, thanks very much. Sit on the sofas, cuddle up, keep yourself warm, get the fire going, Nessie, because it's a little bit chilly in downtown Paphos. Mark Stevens, you can have a cuddle up with us as well. Uh, who else have we got? Ronnie Miller, yes. Our partner in crime from Bonnie, Scotland. He's the man in charge of Law and Order. Law and Order? Law and Order, ex-policeman. So if you're a naughty boy, Dave Jono, he is going to beat you with his truncheon and then Viking Ronnie on the other arm of the sofa. Well, he's going to give you a what should we call it a bit of a Mossad kiss shall we say because yes he's from the Israeli secret service originally but now the Viking lives up in downtown Denmark that's for sure Sean Broad well he's always on board these days because we do silly things like go and look at uh, clapped out old Mercedes S glasses so we need an expert we need a good mechanic and a good man for the body work so we've got Sean chucked in the boot and it's quite a big boot, so we've got room for his friends, his partners in crime, when he goes and does a bit of drug making and drug pushing. So we've got Daniel Mahoney, he's the pusher, and we've got Mr. Richard, well he's a sir now, of course his beautiful wife Julie, and of course my little mate Leo. They're all stuffed in the boot, and they're concocting all sorts of health and fitness potions. And if you want something to put weight on, to lose weight, they're the people to go and see. And then we've got one of our favourites, Miss Lubica absolute star from Slovakia. She used to reside in downtown Paphos and uh, she's gone to live in the UK and she's a star among stars there's no doubt about that and we have a very very big place in our hearts 
for her and we're looking forward to seeing her when she comes out in the summer and we're going to dance some pirouettes along the downtown Cato Paphos promenade. Now where are we? Well we joined the main highway into downtown Paphos. This is the main boulevard and slowly but surely we're going to connect to the top Anabargos roundabout which would be the start of the descent along the Masoi Avenue but we're going to take a left and go into Anabargos itself and wiggle our way down to the main Anabargos roundabout and then eventually onto the Limassol roundabout. Anyway, one or two stars in town, David and Karina, absolute superstars. They are doing their very, very own recons on the harbour area because, of course, they live in downtown Paphos. So they can go and have a look themselves and get updates and that kind of stuff. But apparently they still like to tune into us. I think it's because they like to see a couple of idiots dancing and pirouetting around, hunting for the umbrella, the umbrella. So come on, Sir Simon. Come on, Sir Jeremy. There's plenty of... Look at that pothole there. Wow. There's plenty of people dying of thirst. In fact, I'm dying of thirst, to be honest. Come on, come on. And then... Talking about stars, there's another lady and she resides in Poland and apparently there's a little bit of snow on the ground so it's a little bit cold and it makes life that a little bit harder and, well, she's a star. Her surname when it translates into English is Star. Miss Anna, you will always be a superstar to us, that's for sure. And I cannot forget two superstars that are living up in Inverness in Scotland. Yes, if you're wondering, they're sitting on the edge of the sofa now, Kath and Stephen, yes, and they're coming down to party in Paphos very, very soon, that's for sure. Sean, Dawn, Miss Daisy and Bobo the dog, well I don't know if Daisy and Bobo are coming, but apparently there is a rumour that they're going to try and smuggle them in. I don't think the Cypriot authorities would mind a Cypriot cat coming back, but an English dog, mm, don't know about that, they don't like the English, that's for sure, only joke. Right. Where are we? Well, we're on a road that's potholes. I mean, look, just look at these potholes now. I mean, the, right, the rain hides them so you can't see them, and then you have to avoid them or fall into them. And uh, I bet Dizzy Blom's having a bit of a laugh now, that's for sure, as she's stuck in the traffic jams on the M62 on the outer ring road around Manchester, that's for sure. Now, Mr. Kenny, sorry for calling you a Mancunian. I now understand that you're not a Mancunian, you are from Yorkshire. So, Mr. Paul Roberts, Mr. Nicole, Miss, sorry, Miss Nicole Roberts, my Crygian friend, who is my translator whenever I have to talk to the Mayor of Paphos, Mr. Fidonis himself, an absolute superstar, by the way. He really, really is a good man, and he's doing good things for Paphos, but unfortunately, we have to have a bit of mucking around and a bit of digging and that kind of stuff. Anyway, Mr. Kenny. Who's in charge of the driving? Let's see if we can avoid as many of these potholes as possible because Lady, oh, 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 so, so sweet, just doesn't like the vibrations going through her bottom. Nigel doesn't mind because normally he's high on life as he knocks back a nice gent's sour anyway. But these roads, I mean, this particular part of the road, to be honest, even where it looks smooth, it's not. Whoever did the tarmacking on this should be taken outside and shot. There we go. Now, as you can see, the weather in downtown Paphos, perhaps you haven't noticed on the camera, but the weather is, uh, well, a little bit rainy, a little bit chopsy-mopsy. There's one or two people in the comments who happen to be in Paphos at the moment. I'm not laughing at you, but, uh, oh my God, they're feeling sorry for themselves. There's a chappy out in Coral Bay. <laughs> Dave, I'm sorry, he feels... Well, it feels as though he's been conned. If I was you want to get back, I'd go to the travel agents and uh, see if you can get some, uh, well, get some money back. Try and claim you had rain insurance or something like that. But hopefully you're still having a good holiday. Hopefully it's not too bad. And he's a bald man like me, so as he says, rain doesn't bother him too much. He's wiggling and waggling around Payer, around Coral Bay, and he's having a very, very good time indeed. There it is, that's the Fountain Roundabout the Anabargos main roundabout as we call it and I think if you look very carefully now you may have noticed that, that the sky is starting to get blue and the sea is starting to get blue and guess what I'm dressed head to toe in blue so all that's actually missing is you so get yourself on a big bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy because Cyprus is quite simply waiting for you now if you look very carefully over there on the other side of the road you can see there's two cars at a junction, 
and there's a guy in a yellow coat walking around and that means that that one's shunted that one up the bottom so there's a bit of work for a body shop <laughs> sorry not laughing at them but you know you've got to uh, you've got to understand that uh, where does the money come from well it comes from people shunting people up the bottom and that kind of stuff or rushing around in the weather and hitting their gate post at the end of the day I've got a car body shop and a mechanics so well as they say someone's misfortune is someone's fortune so that's why I always say drive very very carefully don't rush around You've got plenty of time when you die. So there we go. That's the, uh, well, that's the uh, the solemn bit for the day. Let's switch lanes, shall we? Because we're in a, in a queue for no reason. There we are. And let's see if we can overtake my brother. There he is, in that silver car there. We'll go past him, and he'll growl at us. There we are. He's thinking, you're in the wrong lane. But it doesn't matter, because we're in Cyprus. When we get to the roundabout, we'll switch into the correct lane. Although in Cyprus, no one cares which lane you're in. No one knows which is the right lane. I mean, this lane now says to go that way, so who knows which way we're going to go. Anyway, that's the Limassol roundabout in front of us. And, ooh, the sky's gone dark again. I think we're going to get some more rain. We're in for a bit of chopsy mopsiness for the next couple of days, so they say. So this is the Limassol roundabout. We're just going to go literally straight over it and up the bypass. The first exit would take you off to Konya, Armu, and up to the Memphis Hills Resort. Five-star luxury hotel and a PGA golf course, by the way, if you want to play a bit of golf. But like I say, we're going to take the second exit and we're going to shoot up the Limassol bypass. Why? Well, we're off to the workshop. That's where we're going. So start to get excited, Caroline, because you never know. We might go for a little bit of a dismount and we might have a little wander around and see what is going on. So this is it, Limassol Bypass. If you're curious to know, Limassol, 66 kilometers, kilometers. Nicosia, 144 kilometers, oh, I can't even say it. Larnaca, 133 kilometers. So pretty much knock a third off that and you put it into plain English, if you understand me. So if you, if you can't get to somewhere, by the way, from Paphos Airport, you probably can from Larnaca Airport. Because like I was saying, a lot of people reside in Paphos and a lot of the people that live here, foreigners that is, they happen to work abroad. Doesn't mean they work in the oil and gas, but a lot of people do. So they need good connections on airports. So if Paphos is not quite good enough for you, you've got Larnaca, which is only about an hour and 20 minutes, which to most foreigners is not very far at all. Now, weird looking sky. On the left, it looks a bit grey, and on the right, it looks rather blue. So hopefully, the sun is going to come out to play, and hopefully, the sun is going to cheer us up, that's for sure. At the moment, what's going on on the sofa? Well, I think Ronnie from Scotland has got his truncheon out, and I think he's beating Lord Dave Jono over the head. I mean, to be honest, I would give him a damn good thrashing if I was you. Now, what are those twins doing? Not a lot. Yeah, it's not a lot. Playing on the mobile phones. Right, Vivian, Nessie, get the boots on, get the cuffs out, get the whips out, because they need to be whipped into shape. Although I think they're, quite, they're starting to quite like that punishment. So I think we're going to have to come up with something else, something a bit more severe. We're going to have to get my mate Doug to come back. We're going to float him all the way from Bonnie, Scotland, because he's looking for a murder victim or two as I've said, and I've asked him directly in the comments, are you going to kill Mr. Paul, which is me? And he said, no, he's looking for somebody else. And he could be looking for a serial of books. So we could have twin one, twin two. Now, that's not a bad idea, I think. And I think Ronnie Miller, who's a retired police officer anyway, will probably turn a blind eye because you wouldn't want to arrest one of your own Scottish people for that murder, would you? What was that programme called? Taggart, wasn't it, many, many years ago? I remember that one. Anyway, it seems to be drying out a little bit, as you may have noticed. So we're now shooting down the bypass, and the next turn-off will be the turn-off for the Colony Industrial Park, or Industrial Zone, and that's where we're going. Why? Because that's where the body shop is. So if you turn off here, by the way, you can also go all the way up the road, and there's a landfill. But whatever you do, do not tell the boys in Brussels. Do not tell the EU because they don't know anything about it. I mean, 
and there's a landfill in Paphos, there's a landfill in Limassol, guess what, there's one in Nicosia, and guess what, there's one in Larnaca, and there's quite a few others scattered around as well, but the EU don't know anything about it, so don't tell them. If they do, oof, they're going to find us, that's for sure. Anyway, we don't like to do recycling, we really, really don't. It requires too much effort, if you understand me. Right, we're going to turn off here, and this is the exit for the Colony Industrial Park, and look, the sky is getting bluer. It is. Temperature, if you're wondering, Miss Dawn, 11 and a half degrees. Brrr, that's cold. Oh, that's cold. But, well, you never know. They're saying today around 15, 16 degrees. And they're saying next week that the weather is going to warm up to around about 18. And they're saying it's going to be sunny. So that's a good thing. Because, of course, there are a few people coming to downtown Paphos. In particular, we've got Miss Andrea and Mr. Mart, two superstars, two superstar family members who are coming into town. And we're looking forward to seeing them, we really are. And on top of that, I'm going to get a brand new pair of blue shoes. There we are. So let's pop up and see what's going on. Again, get your jumper onto the memory foam cushion, oh so sweet, because it's a little bit rough around here, that's for sure. Ronnie keeps smacking Dave Jono, he doesn't mind, there's not much sense in there, so it won't really bother him. He's having his Weetabex, so smack him on his head. He wanted to know what this breakfast club is all about, now he knows. Violence, there we go. That's what happens when you don't want to pay, Mr Jono. There we are. Thanks for watching. Of course, if you do like what you see, hit the like, click subscribe. Why not come back for a little bit more of my complete and utter madness. And if you want to watch the channel grow, please consider... Oh, he's telling me to get out. He's trying to tidy up. He's trying to tidy up. But a lot of go. Let's go and have a look and see what is going on in the downtown. We're going to go and see him now. Hold on. Because we've got, we got Mr. Marios and he's dancing around. And I haven't got a hat on, have I? So I'll get my hat on as well. This is my special hat all the way from Slovakia. There he is. He's dancing. Oh, that's his rear end. That's Marios' rear end there. Calimera. You all right? Good. Too much fun. It is a bit cold, yes. Yeah. He's a wise man, he's saying it's a bit cold, and it is. It's very, very damp indeed. Let's just have a quick look, because as you can see, we are actually open. And there he is, there's the man himself. How is better? You all right? That's how it's done, look at that. He's pulled that dint out, oh so sweet. See, you wanna see it go? That's how it's done, look at that. So you put the magnet on to make sure it doesn't get electrocuted, creates the earth, and then that wells itself on, and then that's like a puller. So he pulls out the dent. And then he saw him with his hammer before. Whenever he thinks it's too high, he then knocks it back down again. See? Fascinating. Sean is sitting there thinking, he's not a bad lad. See? Look at that. Very, very good lad indeed. So, that's Ibrahim. Let's go and see my favourite Abdullah. Here he is. Hardest worker in the world. Calimera, are you cold? It is a bit cold, isn't it? Are you doing a good job? Always. Best worker in the whole place. So his job today is to prep up this car. As you can see, there's filler been put on there. Now he's got to sand it all down. And of course, all of this from that corner there, as you see, we're going to spray all down the side. And he's checking and making sure that he etches up every single part so that the paint's going to grip, if you understand. We have to etch it, that means sand it all down. So you even sand the very edges along here so that the paint grips it. And that's what he's doing. If you look very, very carefully, you see? He's getting right onto that edge, right under the tape. Because otherwise, probably in around two to three months, the paint will start to lift. So if you've got a car where your paint is starting to lift on an edge where you know that you've had it repaired in a body shop, that's because they weren't very good. I'm not saying we're the best, but we're not bad. There he is. He's having a good feel. And now we see, he's at it again. What do you want? He needs to move the car. There we are. See? So let's have a quick look and see how he's done. Not bad at all. And now afterwards, if you understand, Mr. Sean Broad knows, all these little lumps where the welder was were then grind off. That's going to be a good job. Excellent. Excellent. He is very, very good, by the way. He came to us about, about three months ago and uh, he's learned very, very quickly. Now he's in charge of doing all of the pulling and that kind of stuff. Now, 
The sun is coming out. Have a look at that. Doesn't get much better than that. There's, there he is, there's Shishka Boy number one. As you can see, he's waving at us. Watch the car as you go in. There we are. There's the brother number one. Don't know what he was doing, he's flicking the bees or something at me. There we are. Absolute chaos in downtown Papos. Someone's just stolen my car. I'm going to say thanks for watching. I we see you. Hit the like, click subscribe. I want to come back a little bit more of our complete and utter madness. I'm going to leave you with a view across a rubbish trip out across the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. Thanks for watching.